What's up, you guys? Okay, so I'm about to tell y'all the aftermath of the fight. Hold on, I'm leaning. Okay, so I think that's good enough. Anyway, okay, so after the fight or whatever, um, she called the police and she called her parents. Now, I hate a so-called saint. Like, if you gonna, if you gonna really be a saint, you know what I'm saying, be one. You know, um, this girl I fought for one, she already got poison in her life, okay? You know, um, she called the laws or whatever. So, you know, I talked to the laws and the laws said that, you know, they didn't really want to take her to jail, you know, and they, they really didn't want to take me to jail because that's where I live. Where we fought at is where I live. So, um... She was like, um, so, no, the, they was like, oh, a detective will be calling y'all. So, the detective called me or whatever after the fight. He asked me what happened. I told him what happened. And, um, I, I told him, ooh, I'm hot. I told him what happened or whatever. But <clears throat> he said, he said, okay. He said, I got your son. Now let me call her and I'll call you back. And, you know, he was going to, I guess he was going to take both of our stories and see if it was valid enough for, you know, a case. And I, after that, I called a lawyer. I called a lawyer. Me and the lawyer had talked or whatever. The, the girl... He said, the, me and the lawyer had talked, I asked him, you know, do I need it? Do I need you? Like, you know what I'm saying? We had a whole little conversation talk. And, you know, he said, let me get back with you on the girl. I gave him her full name and her date of birth. And he calls me back. He was explaining to me that the girl is already on probation for, um, what is it? She, I guess in her report, she threw, she, she acted a fool at her job and threw computers and stuff. So it's like some, um, domestic case that she already has and she's already on probation for. So, um, he said this case will be her violating her probation and because you don't have nothing on your record, you know, um, because you don't have nothing on your record, you know, this is an easy win. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, it is. It's an easy win. I didn't know I wasn't aware. But, you know, public record talk. So do people. But, um, and then I just waited for, you know, the, the, um, Detective that got me back. Um, he told me he said it sound like he said and I like I like that detective. He was like it sound like two girls got into a fight. He said and it just sound like sound like two girls got into a fight. And he said so I'm not gonna do nothing with this. And I asked and I said well did she foul? Um, did she file charges on me? And he was like, no. And her mama kept hollering, I'm going to file charges on her. Uh-uh. I think she said it to scare me, but you can't scare me, baby. You can't scare me. And you know good and well, she knew, her mama knew good and well she couldn't file charges on me with that, with what her daughter was on probation for. This... If she filed charges on me, I was going to counteract and file charges on her, too. And then I was going to call the parole board. I mean, I was going to call the probation office in my city and tell them what just happened. Hello. Sound like violating probation to me. Sure do. Stupid. You know, but my mama, <laughs> she told my mama. 
uh, the lady told my mom, oh, I'm going to file charges on your daughter. And she was like, that's fine. That's fine. Go ahead. Just let me know when you do it so I can call my, lo uh, so I can call my daughter a lawyer. You don't want to play with me like that, lady. Swear she a Christian. You ain't no damn Christian. You don't want to be. People swear they live for God. I swear. I came, I done came across a couple people that got kind of themselves some Christian. <laughs> I mean, they came and call themselves some Christians for real. I, mm -mm. I don't say nothing. I let go. It's cool. I ain't gonna forget that. But yeah, so after that or whatever, um. Out there or whatever. I haven't seen her. We we don't talk. Um, my sister got was cool with her, you know, and then they stopped being cool again. But that's neither here nor there with me. As long as she stays away from me, it won't be no problem. Um, but yeah. So it's just funny how people work. Like I, ain't, that's why when you get into fights with people and they threaten to do something. Call, call up there or call somebody, you know what I'm saying, to see. Because you might not even have to do all that. You might not even have to need a lawyer. Like, I ain't even need a lawyer. I was finna get one. Or I was finna get one. But I didn't need one. You get what I'm saying? Because the girl on probation for the same stuff. Like, the girl not gonna, she not finna find no charges. Her mama not dumb enough to do it unless she want to be without her daughter. Because I'm, I'm pressing. Do you hear me? I'm pressing. You don't want to play with me. Got so many tricks up my sleeve. I scared a mess out of you. Anyway, so that is the end of this story time. For real, for real, this thing. I just wanted to come back and tell y'all. I forgot to tell y'all about the detectives. But, um, yeah, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, sure, like, tell everybody. You know what I'm saying? When I'm when I say sure, I mean like go tell people to subscribe. That's what you do. Thank you. Um, and also my Instagram is always that below. Go follow my Instagram, okay? In support of me, go follow my Instagram, okay? If you're a little older, you don't know what Instagram. <laughs> if you're older, ooh, you can tell I need to take my hair down. If you're a little older and um you don't know what Instagram means, let your children help you. But, um, shade. Anyway. I am out.